In this video, I'm going to show you how to use checklists in your eClass course. Checklists can be used to track student progress throughout the course and per section. Students can check off items either by clicking markers done next to each item or check off automatically if an activity has activity completion set to other options by the instructor. This works best when an instructor has set activity completion in each assignment they wish to track. First, navigate to your course and turn editing on. Since this is a course-wide checklist, I will add it into course documents and resources. Scroll to the bottom and add activity or resource and choose checklist from the list provided. I will give my checklist a name. You may include any details you wish. Scrolling to settings, these are the default settings. You may keep it roughly default, but small changes. As long as student is listed here by updates, the activity completion will automatically trigger when a student has completed an activity based on the activity completion settings, or if they have clicked mark as done, or if they have checked it off in the checklist itself. The maximum grade should be set to zero if you do not want this to reflect as a grade. It will also add this into your gradebook as 100 and may skew your grades if you do not change this while creating it. Next, show course modules and checklist. Since this is for the whole course, I will select whole course. The check off when module completes should be set yes to override. This is so that the students when they complete an assignment will be able to see that as well and it will be reflected in the checklist. You can also set an activity completion for this checklist that the student must either receive a grade for it, again if this is set to zero, you would not check this off, and the amount of items on the checklist would be checked off. For this, it would be 100% of the items to make sure that they have completed all assignments. We'll save and return to course to save this checklist. Scrolling again to the bottom, you'll see course-wide checklist. Clicking on it will allow you to preview each listed assignment, whether it has an activity completion or not. Since this is a course-wide list, it will include both assignments that have activity completion to view progress. You'd be able to view progress here by seeing full details, which will show check marks for each student who has completed an assignment, and the progress bars will show you a rough estimate of the items that are checked off per student with a percentage at the end. To edit the checklist, you can click Edit Checklist and any items you do not wish to be reflected on this can be clicked and hidden by clicking on the eyeball next to them. When hovered over, it says Hide. Students will then not see this in their checklist. Since this is able to be updated by students, all modules or activities are shown within this list. If a section is hidden to students or an activity is hidden from students, they will not see this in the list. And it will be updated as those activities are shown to students. To do this at the section level, you can enter a topic, scroll to the bottom, add activity or resource, Choose checklist, give it a name, any details you wish, change minimum grade to zero so it's not reflected in the gradebook, and from the drop down, choose current section. You can change activity completion if you wish, and save and display this time. You'll see that these activities are listed only for this week's section. You can view progress, and you may edit checklist from here as well. Thank you for watching.